What's up, guys? Adam Saxon, a.k.a. Guy in a Cube, with another week of roundups, so let's dig right in. First up is a blog post from Melissa Coates where she looks at the use cases for Azure Analysis Services. This is part two in a blog series that she's doing on that service. And this is just a great post if you're not sure why you would use it, Azure Analysis Services. Some of the things she uses to compare are if you wanna upscale from Power BI, or if you're looking or in a situation where you can do a hybrid scenario where you can actually use cloud-related items versus on-premises. So if this is something that you're interested in and you want to understand maybe what are some of those cases where I could use this service and you're not really sure, be sure to check out this blog post and be sure to check out the rest of the blogs in her series. Next up is a blog post from Avi Singh over at Power Pivot Pro where he asks the question, how can you actually combine data that's system data along with some manual data inside of a Power BI data model. And he walks through some of the options that are available to you and some of the pros and cons of those. And really this comes down to mashing up data, manually entering that data, setting up some relationships, and then combining that in a way that your visualization understands. So this is a great blog post. He's got an associated video that goes along with it where he walks through how to do all of these things. So be sure to check that out. Next up is the November update for the Power BI mobile apps. There were a bunch of items spread across devices in here. Some of those are Intune mobile application management support for Android devices. This had previously been announced for iOS devices. It's now there for Android. So that's something you can do if you're actually managing devices in your organization through Windows Intune. Probably the big item in this blog post that I saw was the support for using links inside of reports and tiles. So if you've got a URL and you click on that in iOS devices, then those will take you to the associated link in the browser. So if you're using the mobile, uh, that's not right. If you're using the Power BI mobile apps, then be sure to check out this blog post for all the features that were released this month. The November update for Power BI Desktop is available today. And as always, there were a ton of features that were inside of this release. There was hierarchical formatting, there was conditional formatting inside of matrix tables. Previously we had that for regular tables, but now it's available for matrix as well. And also you could do column formatting inside of tables and matrices as well. There were improvements to the analytics pane, so clustering is now in preview. Be sure to go to the preview item to enable that if you wanna use it. Uh, also forecasting is now available in the Power BI web service. There were several improvements on the data connector side of things. So Spark is now available for direct query. There were some folding improvements to OData. There's an Azure Analysis Services connector as well. So check out those and more. On the query side of things, there's an improved function authoring experience as well as a data type for percentages and some others. So be sure to check out the blog post for all of this month's updates as well as to make sure you've upgraded to the latest and greatest. There was a preview announcement of a feature this month where you have the ability to download reports from the Power BI service itself. This will download them as a PBIX. Make sure that you've got the latest version of Power BI Desktop if you wanna open those PBIX files. I also did a video earlier this week where I talked about this feature and showed how it can be used. So be sure to check that out as well. Okay, which item was your favorite that I talked about? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and let me know. Also down in the description below, you can see all the links that were for today's items, as well as some bonus items that I didn't talk about in the video. And if you liked the video, be sure to give it a like. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more great content. And as always, thank you so much for watching and keep being awesome.